like the other losers. <laughs> I know it doesn't look good, but I wasn't just going to cut and run. I thought if I were free, I'd be able to do more to help. Or at least go find some backup to get you out of here. That's the truth. You look a little dubious. You believe me, right? Of course I trust you. <sighs> Thanks. Quite a scenario we find ourselves in, huh? Are you just gonna sit in that cart, or are we getting out of here? Just give me a second to get free. that. Electricity cooked them alive. We gotta get out of here. Locked. <clears throat> well, brute force won't work. Riddler. That hook could be useful. How did you end up here? The agency nabbed me. From Waller with love. The Sanctus Lab was so chaotic after the robbery. I let my guard down for one second and... Call her. They threw me in a transport. Then the next thing I know, the trucks flipped on its side by an explosion. They took all of us. I'm the only one left. Great, now push the key to me. I'll unlock the door between us. It only unlocks from my side. She's telling the truth, but she can also take that key and get out, leaving you trapped. 
and unable to help the other dinner guests. Because you know she won't. What do you say, Bruce? You're going to trust a thief. The consequences could be electrifying. <laughs> Coming your way. You should know by now, Bruce. You can trust me. to the floor. One of these agents tried that, but... Take it slow. What's that phrase? I walk a mile over broken glass. Well, eight feet should be a piece of cake. What could be more romantic than pulling shards from each other's kneecaps? Uh, it's okay. I'm okay. This will do the job. Riddler. Lucius Fox. Martha Wayne. Thomas Wayne. John Doe. What is this? There's such a thing as pacing, Bruce! Get back to digging! Dig up the truth. A 
Oh, God. You're so good at pulling people's hearts out of their chests, Bruce. What's one? Something underneath. See some familiar faces, Bruce? There's Thomas Wayne, your dear departed criminal dad. Joe Chill, you two met in Crime Alley that one time, remember? Bruce Wayne, that cad! And Batman, of course! Nothing happens in Gotham without him skulking around. This is a good old-fashioned whodunit. These are your suspects. The victims, as usual, are all around you. All you gotta do is put the right face on the right grave, Bruce. I'll allow room for some interpretation, but not much. Lucius. Some people would say Lucius Fox was in the wrong place at the wrong time, but we both know he was there then because of Batman. The man got spray painted across Wayne Tower for the Dark Knight. That's loyalty. Yes, he's claiming to know who killed Riddler. Probably him. What's he trying to say? John Doe is dead. There's only Joker now. Poor John was betrayed by his very own best friend. He gave his heart willingly. Only to have it ripped from his chest, still beating and spraying blood everywhere. What a mess. I hope you're happy with yourself. You're just pulling every string, aren't you? Yes! The way Nate takes another victim. His shady dealings got a loved one killed. Will history repeat itself tonight? <laughs> Are there any left? No, we placed them all. <laughs> what the hell? Someone's in there. I can't get it open. I'll find something else. Tiffany! I couldn't... breathe. I've been in there for hours. How did you end up in there? And are you hurt? I'm okay. I'm okay now. Alfred lost touch with you at the Ace Chemical Plant. I tracked you. I wanted to help. I ended up here. What is it? The final sticker. It looks like... That's you. So what? Joker thinks you killed Riddler. I... Uh, 
I'm not sure why. It's just... Bruce, I can't. Please, Tiffany. Say it's not true. Joker's right. I killed Riddler. You killed Riddler. I... I'm not proud of it. And who are you? Riddler's friend. Selina! I came to this town to avenge you. <laughs> Riddler killed her father, Selina. This is Lucius Fox's daughter. Tiffany. Whatever will you do, Bruce? You're gonna have to turn Tiffany in because of your precious code. Turn her into your old friend Gordon of the GCPD. Wait! You got him fired! No, no, wait! He's not your friend anymore! He betrayed you. <laughs> God! What a mess you've made! Dinner is about to be served. The final guest awaits. Bruce. When this is over, we're gonna talk, right? You can count on it. <laughs> Welcome! Finally! So glad you could join us! <laughs> it's got a head explosion set in two! So play along. Nice. People never take the time to eat a meal together these days. And since you care about these folks, well, as much as you care about anyone, you'll be a good little guest. You'll play along, won't you, buddy? Sounds good. Always love dinner parties. You might not love this one when we're done. I know it's impolite to start without all guests present, but Bruce, you gotta try this. Open up. Come on. Go on. Put your lips on it. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. I like making you smile. Come on. Go on. Put your lips on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. But well, we've got to get it into his stomach somehow. Don't want him to starve. Honey, wait! There's your, you know, thing. We don't want to kill him just yet, right? I got so caught up, I... Thanks for having my back, Puddin. You're so good to me. <laughs> oh, 
Alfred. He came as soon as he heard you and Tiffany would be here. You assured me no one would get hurt. Ah, uh, no. I said that people would get hurt if you didn't come. Not the same. You brought scones! Uh, stay clear of that one. Came out a bit charred. Well, luckily, Master Bruce has never been picky. They look good, don't they? Want one? Wow! This thing is real silver, huh? Yeah, why not? Um, the one in the middle. Uh, of course, you want the best one. <laughs> <laughs> wow! I just love hitting you. <laughs> Since the guests are all here, I want to show them the main course. That's a great idea. <gasps> I'll have my pick of all of Gotham soon. So I'm kind of hoping the survivor ain't one of you. Doesn't that look good? Old family recipe. Hope you're all hungry. <laughs> so, Joker, how does it feel to uh, lie right to her face? Uh, 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 that's not polite dinner conversation, Bruce. Do you really want Harley killing the whole town before we eat? <sighs> that might ruin your appetite. And Gordon, well, he won't even have a stomach left. So just play along. Like I taught you. Good. Good. Uh, uh. Ugh. Don't make them like they used to. Puddin. I think it's time. No! I mean... Not yet. We wanted to play with them a little longer, right? Uh, right. A game. Three rounds. One for each of Bruce's friends. Let's get to know just how awful each of you truly is. Think of it as your last confession. Raise a hand, or lose it. That's right, fingers up. Alfred's going to get this party started. Read it. <clears throat> Never have I ever lied to a friend. Now, the way that this works is, if you have lied to a friend, finger goes down. I know. Your dad's a crime lord. It's really tough to tell a tween. Your turn. Pretty simple rule. Well... I only ever lied to protect you. Oh, please. Did I say tell me your stupid sorry excuses? No! Finger down! And now, if you've lowered a finger, I get to do something terrible to you. Not you, of course. Never have I ever used a friend. All of it. Manipulated them just to get what I want. Made them think they meant more to me than they did. We both know where you stand on that one. Good kitty.
Not you, Puddin. You do you, hun. I got the cats. Thanks, babe. Bruce! Next up, Tiffany. Never have I ever. You know what? I'm not doing this. Don't test us, lab rat. Test you? If I didn't have a gun to my head, I'd kill you just like I killed Riddler. Tiffany. And it'd be a whole lot easier. Because unlike you two, Riddler was smart. What did you say? I think the gal who fell into our trap just called us dumb. <laughs> maybe we hit her too hard on the head. Or maybe not hard enough. If there wasn't a .001% chance that you might survive the virus, I'd kill you right now. Read. Never have I ever killed a person in cold blood. Oh. Didn't know the Girl Scout had it in her, did ya? Finger down, Brucie. You murdered John Doe. And it was as cold-blooded as you can get. John's not dead. I know he's in there somewhere. <laughs> You'd love that, you. Because John! You could twist around with all your words, and he'd believe you, but not me! Hun, he don't matter. Not anymore. You see what he does? Man, I really dodged a bullet, didn't I? You're a freaking mess. Look at these people you surround yourself with. Liars. Thieves. Murderers. And you think you're too good for me? I am so glad we're not friends. Puddin, I'm done waiting. You got what you wanted, right? Yeah, I did. Let him die a little sooner than the rest of the city. Goodbye, Bruce. Gotham is safe. Joker gave Gordon a map of the bombs. The GCPD will have defused them by now. <laughs> you think I'm gonna fall for this? All Joker cared about was revenge, so he made a deal. The map in exchange for me. Yeah, but I, I I, totally crippled the guy. No way they'll get to all the bombs in time. Probably. Probably? You really did this? We'll have another this chance. This is my life we're talking about. You chose him over me? How could you? You know I need that serum. I'm hey, gonna kill babe, you. Babe.
This ain't over until I say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> A shadow within your shadow. The tumor lurking in your soul. <sighs> you broke my heart, John. I did need you. I cared about you. But you took what I gave you and you twisted it into something ugly and wrong. Ugly? Wrong? If you ever loved me, you'd see what we have now. It's beautiful! Come on! Come on! Please! Justice for what you've done. <laughs> you, you really love that word. Justice. You hide behind it. You think it forgives all your sins. <laughs> Remember that night. Drinking frappes under the stars. You dishing out advice about the ladies. Me finding out you were the bat. It was perfect. <sighs> you know, some part of me always knew. Someone like you? You'd never really be friends with someone like me. I, 
I hope you look at that scar and remember those good times. <laughs> You can sure take some punishment, Wayne. I'll give you that. Dish it out, too. I'm pulling my people out of Gotham effective immediately. I want you to know, you're square. Your secret is safe with me. After everything you've done, it's only right. I'll seal your case file for good. <sighs> Thank you. If the wrong people found out who I am... That's not going to happen. At least not because of me. Anything else we need to discuss? Or is this goodbye? What about Jem? Joker hurt him pretty bad. They're saying he might not walk again, at least not without a cane. He saved thousands of lives with that map. Trading you like that? He's clearly been taking lessons from the agency. I'm inclined to give him a medal. Maybe his old title, too, if he wants it. A tough old dog like him. He's good for a junkyard like Gotham. Jim deserves the highest honor. Like always, he put his duty first. It can't have been easy for him. Anyone else you're concerned about? Catwoman. I thought she'd be pretty high on your list. You two certainly have been close. I've got a collar on her for now. But seeing how she put herself on the line against Joker, maybe I'd be willing to take it off. As a token of my goodwill. Catwoman has a... sordid past. Past? <laughs> I'd say present, with decent odds on future, too. I'll keep a lid on that, but... give her a fresh start. Clear her record. What record? So, what else? And Avesta. Is she going with you? Poor Iman. You really got inside her head, didn't you? I know it was her that destroyed Riddler's blood. She's gonna have to answer for that. I need to be able to trust the people who work for me. You get that, right? I can't let a betrayal of that magnitude go unpunished. Let her come work for me. I'll find her a job at Wayne Enterprises. Is that what she wants? She should at least know it's an option. Okay, then. I'll mention it. She's pretty fond of Gotham. God knows why. And of you. You know, she loves that steak place on Clinton Street. Maybe you should take her some time. I'll see you around. It's always possible, Bruce. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll be over the moon if I never have to come back to this wasteland. All teams accounted for, ma'am. Airlift is en route. Thank you, Agent. I'll be right there. We were able to pick up Ms. Fox's trail. She's taken to the rooftops. Good. Stay with her until I tell you otherwise. Word is Tiffany Fox cop to Riddler's murder. Personally, I don't give a damn about what happened to that maniac. But I know how you feel about lethal force. I can bring her in if you want. Lay a charge on her. Unless that's something you'd rather take care of yourself. I'm aware of your history with her. With her father. Tiffany and I go way back. I'd rather deal with her myself. My people will let you know where to find her. <clears throat> take care of yourself, Bruce Wayne.
Tiffany. <gasps> we need to talk. Yeah, I figured. I made it. Thinking someday I'd be fighting by your side. Not running from you. I was working up the courage to tell you. Joker? He just... Guessed it somehow. Said he knows another psychopath when he sees one. It was almost a relief to admit it. I'm sorry you found out that way. You know I don't condone killing. Not even scum like Riddler. I've been dreading this moment. Especially since I learned who you are under that mask. I was afraid of what might happen if you found out. I guess I was hoping you never would. Why didn't you talk to me sooner? I... I wanted to work with you, to be part of your mission. But you kept this from me. A murder. I know. I'm sorry. I knew this would ruin everything. You were right. Riddler tore my family apart, Bruce. My mother hasn't left the house since the funeral. And Luke? He just lashes out. My father's death broke them. It broke all of us. I won't ask for forgiveness. But I hope you can understand why I had to do it. I just felt so powerless. Like my life was crumbling around me. I had to do something to take back control. Please tell me you get that. Revenge is an impulse, one to be checked. I can't condone it, but I do understand it. Thank you. That means a lot. I couldn't bear it if you despised me. So, where do we go from here? I suppose this puts me on your most wanted list, rather than us working together. If you want to fill your father's shoes, you need to learn right from wrong. You need someone to teach you. you. You're giving me a second chance? Think of it more as a sentence. You'll have to work hard for your redemption. I promise I won't let you down. Then let's get started. Ha, ha, ha.